What's going on everyone, it's the EV Engineer, and in this video I'd like to wrap up this CAN bus on a breadboard project I've been working on these past couple weeks. So in previous videos of mine, I did a demo with the ESP32 and the TJA1050 CAN transceiver. The ESP32 is a 3.3 volt device, and the CAN transceiver I was using is powered by 5 volts. So I did some demonstrations here of uh, the compatibility between uh, that CAN controller and that CAN transceiver. I also used an Arduino and the MCP2515 CAN module. And today I'm going to be connecting all of these to one CAN bus and uh, doing a little demo of uh, transmitting and receiving data. So I hope you enjoy the video. If this is your first time on my channel, my name is Josh. I'm an embedded software engineer and I love making cool videos such as the one you're going to see today. If you like the content, please remember to drop a like and subscribe. And without further ado, let's get into the video. So this is the bench setup. We have the breadboard here with the ESP32s. The left one is the CAN receiver. The right one is the CAN transceiver. These have a uh, power ground and then the TX and RX going to the microcontroller. And then we have CAN high and CAN low going into the breadboard on the right. And then over here, I have the uh, Elego Uno, which is just a cheaper version of the Arduino Uno. That is hooked up to the MCP2515 CAN module. You can see here, we have all three microcontrollers connected to the same CAN bus. So on the left of my screen, I have a CAN node set up as a CAN receiver. So this device is just gonna be logging data that it receives from the CAN bus. This is an ESP32 with the TJA1050 CAN uh, transceiver. On the right side of the screen, I have two CAN transceivers that are TXing data. The one up top here is an Arduino with the MCP2515 CAN module. And on the bottom, I have another ESP32 with the TJA1050 CAN transceiver. So right side of the screen is transmitting data and the left side of the screen is receiving the data. So for a quick run through the code, on the left we have the CAN receiver and this is set up to just receive data. So it does the CAN init with a bit rate of 250,000. Uh, you can ignore this comment here, I changed it earlier. So it's set up as a CAN receiver and um, yeah, it'll just loop through here and wait for data. So uh, the same thing's happening here. We're setting the bit rate to 250K. And then uh, if we scroll down to the CAN sender, uh, we can see that the CAN message is just gonna be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So up top here, we have the Arduino, uh, and this is using the MCP2515 CAN module. And this one is actually set up to send uh, just the uh, inverse of this. So it'll be eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and these are just the ASCII values of those numbers. Um, so nothing crazy here. Uh, and yeah, we have, uh, we have it just sending uh, this one CAN message in the loop. So if we go to uh, the serial monitor one more time, I'll open them all up. We can see that uh, the two here are, are just, you know, happily transmitting away. And uh, the one on the left is receiving uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 from CAN node 0, 1, 2, and 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 from CAN node uh, 0x, F, 6. So just to prove uh, that, these, uh, that the CAN IDs match up, you can see here uh, 0x, 0f, 6, and then the other one is 0x, 1, 2. So um, the receiver node is able to uh, receive data from both the other devices and, and it has the corresponding CAN IDs and payloads of uh, each of those CAN frames. So I hope you are thrilled with this demo, guys. We have a full functioning CAN system on a breadboard and I'll leave some links in the description below for further learning if you're interested in how to repeat this project yourself. Uh, but just to list them off right here, if you want to learn about the ESP32 and the TJA1050 CAN transceiver, check out this video right here where I set that up on a breadboard. If you're interested in the Arduino Uno and the MCP2515 CAN module, then check out this video right here. 
If you're curious on what the voltage levels are gonna be on a CAN bus, check out this video right here where I investigate with an oscilloscope. If you wanna know CAN theory, I got one right here for you. And if you just wanna see more videos, please subscribe to the channel. All right, have a nice day.